welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great so today is wash day and i decided to incorporate my diy avocado and banana hair mask and deep conditioner i just thought that my hair felt really dry and crusty and in need of some very good deep conditioning as well as some strength so i don't usually do this but every now and again i just Put this in my hair to just give it that moisture and that strength so I'll be going to wash my hair and then I'll be right back see you so this is what my hair looks like right after shampooing there's nothing else in there so now I'm just going to section my hair and then after go right ahead and apply the mask So this is what the mask looks like and a card should pop up now to send you to the video that I made of how I achieved this mask. So as you can see I'm just applying to my whole head and it does get quite messy so you wouldn't want to use your favorite towel for this one and just make sure you've got some towels on the floor as well so you don't get um, the place all messed up it defines the hair as well with little to no effort and it also has very good slip as well because I find that I'm able to finger detangle easily without any problems at all and usually after shampooing I don't do any sort of detangling whether with my fingers or even with a comb but once I apply this to my hair it's so easy to just detangle and it makes it so much better for me as well as you can tell here you can see how my fingers are just breaking through my hair <laughs> and yes I had to do a dance <laughs> yeah so like I was saying you can tell I can just run my fingers through and you can also tell the definition and quite frankly it just takes out the hassle of me having to detangle my hair whenever I use it so that's another plus for me over here you can tell I've applied it all over my hair every strand of hair is saturated so yeah you can see even with the bowl is empty yes I used every last drop of it <laughs> I didn't want to waste any of the goodness in this thing and I'm just finger combing through just for you to see every single strand is coated so yeah once this is done I'll just cover my hair with a plastic cup you can use a shower cup or whatever you've got but I had um, a plastic cup around that I used for this and so yeah this is what it looks like I missed a spot in the middle but hey <laughs> so here's the plastic bag it's just a regular plastic bag from the shops i'll just keep this on for about half an hour to an hour and then wash it out much 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 later yeah so this is me back now this is after how many hours i cannot even remember because i just got caught up doing other stuff so yeah this is what it looks like now after i think over two hours i think and look at those coils like 
they're just so nicely defined and you can tell it's really moisturized so yeah just look at that I'm just gonna take all of that out and then I'll go and wash it all out as well So this is what my hair looks like after I washed out the mask. I've washed everything out and if I tell you how soft my hair felt after I washed it out, oh my goodness. It felt so, so, so soft to the touch and I can also tell that it's really moisturized. I just loved how my hair felt like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair and I usually use the LCO method so for the leave-in I use um, the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave-in conditioner I just love this I've used it for the longest time now and every time I open it I have to do this because I just love the smell of it so I take just a little bit and I apply it to the ends of my hair and then work my way up to the roots so not too much because I find that just a little bit goes a long way so yes that's what I do and I'm going to apply this all over my hair before I apply um, the next which is the cream Now that I've finished applying the leave-in, I'm going to go ahead and apply the cream which is my shea butter mix. So it's just normal shea butter and I've mixed with um, some oils and whipped it up to have this consistency and it's nice and fluffy. So again, just a little goes a long way. I'm just going to apply to my hair again from the ends to the roots and I'm just gonna repeat that all over my hair again
finally I'm going to apply the virgin olive oil to just seal in the moisture all of the good moisture that I have put in to help it last all through till my next moisturizing time so usually when I apply the oil on the top I retwist it up again but because I just wanted you guys to see what it looked like after I had done all of the moisturizing I just left the hair out for you to see so yeah that's what I'm doing now So this is what my hair looks like now. It feels so soft. I just wish you guys could just touch it in here. And yeah, it doesn't need a trim as well. I'm going to do that. But you can also tell that it's got this white residue, which has even been exaggerated because of the light. But once I twist it up and it air dries, it looks so good, so shiny, so bouncy. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this, just subscribe hit the like button turn on your notification bell so that anytime I upload a video you will know right away and just thank you so much for coming back once again and take care be safe